everyone, my name is Tim Marcantonio. I'm coming at you with a distance learning lesson from uh, Liberty University Online. I'm going to be talking about cleaning the, uh, your air vents and your cooling fans uh, for your laptop computer. So in talking about cleaning laptop air vents and cooling fans, we need to talk about why we clean them, how are we going to clean them, and how often we're going to clean them. First off, uh, you got to know why you do it. Uh, well, your computer's biggest enemy is overheating. And you ask yourself, hey, does, does my laptop have plenty of things to prevent overheating? Yes, they do. These things are called heat sinks and fans. This is a heat sink, a heat sink and fan. Now, this is for a desktop computer, but uh, it functions uh, just as the heat sinks do for a laptop. Generally, what happens is uh, this sits upon a CPU, a central processing unit of a desktop, which is the hottest part of the computer. It's going to draw away the heat from the central processing unit, uh, using uh, these blades and this fan is going to run air through these blades which will cool the blades and then cool the CPU. Uh, laptops they work the same way. You're going to find the little vents in your laptop computer. As you can see there are a lot of them but with all laptop computers there's going to be uh, vents, air vents on the sides. Fans are going to pull air in through these vents and run them through as you can see, all these air vents to keep the whole thing uh, cool, the whole laptop cool, especially the CPU. Now, your laptop and your desktop's biggest enemy is heat. Uh, most people think, oh, the virus is the biggest, uh, biggest threat to a computer. Well, maybe to the software, but you can always format your, your computer, your hard drive, and always have a computer. But if your computer, your laptop overheats, it's going to do damage to the hardware and then you're not going to have any computer ads, uh, whatsoever. So that's why it's important to keep the air vents and the fans clean. How do you do that? This is canned air. You can find it at any computer store or uh, office supply store like Office Max. It comes like this, usually with a little straw stuck to the side. You take off this straw, you poke it in the end there, nice and tight, so it doesn't fly off as you're squirting it. And then you just pull the trigger. And air comes out. Now, one thing to, to note with canned air, uh, recently, uh, they've been putting uh, stuff kind of like pepper spray in canned air. Uh, so you don't want to spray it for too long or in anybody's face or play around like that because it, uh, it won't be too fun. Especially, do not tip it upside down when you're spraying it. Otherwise, the liquid will spray out and it could possibly do harm to your computer. So, how do you clean out the air vents? Uh, on most laptops, on all laptops, you're going to find air vents all along the bottom and along the side. You're basically just going to take this canned air, take this little straw, and you're going to stick it in the air vents. Do not stick it all the way in the air vents, just a little bit so the, so the straw is in there and it's blowing air through the air vents. Now this air is going to flow through the air vents and if it's nice and dusty you're going to see the dust come out the bottom uh, or wherever the airflow uh, is uh, configured for your laptop. Mostly you're going to want to concentrate on the air vents along the side. These are going to be the ones uh, that go to your CPU and uh, the important hardware on your computer. But I would suggest getting all of the vents. Now this is general, uh, general maintenance. You're going to want to do this once a week, once a month, depending on how, uh, how much you use your laptop and where you're bringing it. If you're going to bring this uh, out to the woods and be doing laptop uh, out of, or doing computing out in, your, in the woods and getting it all nice, nice and dusty and dirty, you're going to want to do this more often. If you're, if you're sitting at home and your house is nice and spotless, you won't have to worry about it as much. But keeping, it, uh, keeping these air vents clean is going to keep your laptop from overheating. So how are you going to know that your computer needs to be cleaned? Uh, generally what's going to happen is your computer is not going to be running as well as it usually is. It's going to be running slower. Uh, your video games and your, game and your video quality won't be as, uh, as good as it usually is. Uh, it, your videos will uh, so slow down significantly. You might see pixelations and um, you will definitely know uh, if your computer needs to be cleaned if you get the blue screen of death. Now what, what's the blue screen of death? Uh, well, you'll be working on your computer and what will happen is your screen will go completely blue and you'll see some code up on it, some, some numbers and some letters that you have no idea what they mean, uh, but you just lost 
all the information that you were working on. Uh, you might have just lost all the information on your computer. Uh, and you might have done some significant hardware damage uh, to your computer. Uh, with this, if you're lucky, if your computer starts right back up, uh, then you're good. You might have just lost some, some information, you might, have lost, might not have lost anything. But it's a good sign that your computer definitely needs uh, cleaning. Uh, in the worst case scenario, you get a blue screen of death, your computer doesn't come back on, you just lost everything. Well, you can bring it to a computer shop to see if you can recover something. So this was my lesson on cleaning your computer's cooling fans and air vents. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you all do well on your lessons. Thanks.